All right, so I had been meaning to do a video, a short one about the coolant pipes, the differences between the GTE and the GE model uh, 2JZ cooling pipes. This one right here is from a GE, which of course doesn't come with turbos. This was a twin turbo VVTi 2JZ, but I suspect the non VVTIs have a similar uh, hose or uh, coolant pipe which uh, is way more extensive than this one and uh, I believe it's for many things two turbos and it actually wraps around the other side of the engine to meet up with uh, that crazy little oil cooler air, water cooler thing that they got going on and then it goes back into the block on that side in fact here it is uh, you can see it's got the same deal where it goes into the water pump comes back out but then you have these all of these hoses coming out I believe there's some crossovers for vacuum as well and of course on the other side those of you that have done Jay-Z you know this leads to that that oil cooler well it's sort of like an oil cooler liquid cooler at the same time and then it goes back into the block a little bit further up I have plugged that off based on the coolant flow chart that I've seen it doesn't seem to matter um, I was going with a Borg Warner that does not have coolant uh, passages or a way to hook it up so I decided to go with this GE coolant pipe this is gonna be for the heater because I did want to keep it and I'm using this other pipe to actually cool my waste gate off because it's the MVR type 44 millimeter that I'm gonna go with and uh, quite conveniently this little turbo stay bracket was from the 7M engine that was in this car. This is a 87 Supra, by the way, just in case you were wondering. While we're at, we're down here with uh, all the exhaust out of the way, this is the perfect time to also show you how to either plug up the oil pressure lines that connect the two turbos. These were the supply lines before, but for this setup, I've actually went and put the analog oil pressure sensor for the dashboard because as anyone who's messed with the Jay-Z engines knows, there's usually two sensors for everything. The computer needs one, and I guess you need one for your own satisfaction. Uh, so what I did here was this was the actually the 7M oil pressure gauge that's going to integrate with uh, the analog dash meter as well. What we did here was... Uh, believe that's a 16 millimeter with the copper gasket on it it's got a hole in it that accepts the 1 8 NPT that this screwed right into and then over here for the other twin turbo output I'm using this as the oil supply for my Borg Warner that I've got um, it's the SXE model that doesn't use coolant and uh, so I had to adapt for the drain as well this is not the typical uh, twin turbo drain there's usually two pipes coming out and uh, it's gonna be a AN 10 on the drain for these SXE model Borgs uh, I'm trying to think of what else I could talk about too while we're down this far I think the other thing was the temperature sensor gauge um, a lot of guys do something in in the hose pipe or something else I found that on this model I'm not sure if this is the regular uh, GTEs but on the VVT model there is actually already a 1 8 BPT hole that's got a plug in it so what I did was I went from BPT to NPT which I believe is half inch and then uh, this is pretty much just like a spacer then I put again the analog sensor for the temperature gauge here I had to run a new wire but it screwed right in so that's how I'm gonna see oil pressure and coolant temperature on the old MK3 Supra dashboard and still allow the Jay-Z computer to see its own temperature gauge which I believe is down here I think that's the computer's gauge right here where's my finger yeah the one under it there so uh, yeah that's uh that's my plan so far and uh, I guess the next video is gonna be on the turbo setup, the hot side and the cold side, because I had to do some modifications there too. I think I'm also going to do a video on all the parts that are interchangeable from the 7M to the 2JZ blocks. Um, 
that's coming up so anyway little fyi for you have a good one take your light